You want to stop struggling and grow your small YouTube channel and you want to be able to blow it up in the next seven days, you need to make sure that you're implementing the four algorithm hacks that I'm going to share with you in this video. Because if you're not growing right now or it seems like growing on YouTube is really hard, I can pretty much guarantee that you're probably ignoring all four of these things or at least a few of them. And by the way, the last one is by far the most important. In fact, this creator changed the last one and was literally able to gain over 30,000 subscribers in just a 30 day period and they got monetized. And I think the same thing can happen to you. You simply implement these four changes. Change number one is you need to make sure that you're dumbing down what you're saying in your content. I'm not saying that you need to be making your audience for a two-year-old, but you need to make sure that the scripts for your content are actually ideal for somebody that reads at below a fifth grade level. And there's a really good reason for this. The majority of people across the world actually read at below a fifth grade level. So the second that you start adding jargon into your content or really complex things or really big words, guess what ends up happening? It decreases the amount of reach that you get because people stop watching the video. And the more people that stop watching the video, less people YouTube is going to recommend your content to. I can almost guarantee that if you're not holding people's attention right now on YouTube, you're probably messing this up. For example, I'm working with a client right now and here's their audience retention graph. And here is the script that they're using. I bet just by reading the script and looking at the audience retention graph, you can figure out the exact sentence in which people stopped watching the video. And it's a sentence in which they started to put a lot of jargon. So what they could have done is instead use a script like this that made it incredibly easy for the audience to understand what they were trying to get across and essentially put it in layman's terms and boom, they would have skyrocketed the amount of views that they got. And by the way, the post with the jargon didn't do that bad because their audience retention graph was still pretty good. It was great in the beginning, there was a huge dip, and then it stayed flat. So YouTube continued to suggest the piece of content out, but they would have gotten 10 to 100 times the amount of views had they simply made changes to their script beforehand. And this is actually one of those problems. A lot of these mistakes that I'm gonna be sharing with you because there are three more are things that you make a mistake on before you actually film a YouTube video, and that leads to the whole video failing from the get-go. Now on top of that, you need to make sure that you're responding to every single comment that you can on YouTube. And before you tell me that you don't have time to do that, I'm about to share with you a tool that's literally gonna make this as easy as humanly possible because it's gonna get AI to actually respond to your YouTube comments. But essentially what you wanna do, you wanna make sure that you're responding to every comment that you get on YouTube because it's gonna increase two things. First, it's going to increase the amount of times that somebody watches one of your videos. So if somebody leaves a comment, they get off the video, you comment back, they're then gonna come back to this video and this is one of the best signals that you can actually give to YouTube because it looks like that person watched that video multiple times, which is gonna to lead to YouTube then pushing out your content to more people. And the second thing that this does is skyrockets the odds that somebody actually watches your content the next time I see it. I mean, think about it. If somebody replied to your comment on YouTube, you feel a more personal connection to them. And as a result, the next time that you see their piece of content, you're probably gonna watch that content the same way that you would if you saw a friend's piece of content or a family member's piece of content. And you can do this at scale with the tool I'm about to show you. And that tool is going to be the vidIQ Chrome extension that you can see right here. So essentially what you wanna do, you wanna come here, you wanna download the vidIQ Chrome extension, and then you're gonna to have to come up to your extensions, and from here, you'll be able to toggle it on, and then guess what happens? When you log into YouTube now, and you go to reply to a YouTube comment, you can click generate reply, and essentially what this is gonna do is gonna get AI to write several different replies for you, and you can choose between a general comment, a humorous one, thankful, witty, informational, and you can get it to even regenerate if you don't like anything. And on top of that, if you click right here, you can save different templates. If you keep having to respond to the same questions over and over again, you can choose a template and then really easily be able to reply to your comments. And this is gonna skyrocket the amount of engagement that you get and the amount of views that you're gonna get on YouTube. Now, if you wanna get access to this tool and all of vidIQ's other features, you need to go to the pinned comment below and register right now because they're giving you 30 days of access for just one and that $1 can literally skyrocket the amount of views and the amount of subscribers that you're getting. And if you're not using vidIQ, I bet your competitors are, and that's why they're getting more views than you. And if you're one of those people that's probably not getting any comments on their videos, it's simply because you're not creating content that your audience is actually interested in, or you don't know what's trending within your niche. And guess what? vidIQ can help with that too. So if you don't know what you should be posting about or what's trending within your niche, you need to make sure that you're doing this. The first thing you need to do 
is find some competitors within your niche. For example, I'm gonna look up vidIQ, I'm gonna open up another tab, I'm gonna put Think Media, I'm gonna open up another tab, and I'm gonna put Grow Your Gaming Channel. These are three of my competitors within the space of how to grow on YouTube content. And vidIQ is gonna allow me to spy and see exactly which one of their videos are getting views. For example, if I click in here and I go over here, it's literally going to populate how many views per hour each one of these videos are getting. So although this video has 36,000 views and this one has 16,000 views, if I didn't have this tool, I would assume that this video is actually better, but this one's actually better because it's getting more views per hour and over time, it's probably going to be a better video. Or what I could do is click in here and I can see view trending videos. And this is gonna reveal the craziest thing ever. It's literally going to show me all of their videos that are trending. And if I click here, it'll show me the top keywords. So from here, what you're gonna to be able to see is exactly what lengths are working, what thumbnails are working, what shorts are getting them a lot of views, or even how long their videos are. So if I could look at this right here, I can see that of their top six trending videos, only one of them is from two days ago. The rest of them are a year old, two years old, four months old, six months old, four months old. So guess what that tells me? I might actually be being way too impatient on myself if I'm trying to judge my views within the first 24 hours because all of their trending videos that their audience really likes were made months ago or sometimes even years ago. So you might be making the mistake of not using trending content or attacking the trending ideas that your competitors are or you might be judging yourself way too early and way too quickly and this is one of the biggest mistakes that I see small YouTubers make. Now, we can also come to all the different other competitors and guess what's going to happen? We're also gonna be able to click this button right here and literally see all of the top keywords that they're ranking for. And this is gonna give you unlimited content ideas and it's gonna show you exactly what's trending in your specific niche. I really can't emphasize this enough. If you're not using this tool, your competitors are or another small channel within your niches, and guess what? They are going to beat you because without these in-depth analytics tools, which make it as easy as humanly possible to know exactly what you should be posting about or even how to cultivate your audience, you're going to fail to grow on YouTube. Or you might be making the mistake that I'm going to share with you right now, which is by far the biggest mistake that I see small accounts make, and it's going to be holding back your growth. But remember, if you want to sign up for vidIQ and you want to grow quicker on YouTube, go to that pinned comment below and sign up today for just $1 for the next 30 days. $1 can literally be the thing that changes your life and gets your YouTube channel monetized. Now, I can pretty much guarantee that if you're not getting the views that you want to on YouTube right now, your content isn't hitting these three three things that I see almost every viral video on YouTube do. First one is there's text on the screen immediately within the video, ideally at the center of the video. The second thing is that there's some type of action happening immediately, which is going to catch the viewer's eye. And then the third thing is there's a voiceover to go along with that, a sound effect to go along with that, or there's music to go along with that. Ideally, you wanna have all of those things. And what this is gonna do is actually hook somebody in to watching your piece of content. And I want you to test this. Go to the shorts feed right now and I guarantee that all that you see are shorts that hit those three criteria. And there's a reason for this. YouTube sees that your piece of content has those things in it and guess what it does? It captures people's attention. So then guess what happens? YouTube pushes out your content even more. Now listen, this will change. Right now, this is what's working on YouTube Shorts, but in the future, it will be something different. The algorithm will switch, and you're gonna be wondering, what on earth am I doing? And that's exactly why, if you're serious about growing on YouTube, I wanna tell you exactly what you should be posting, when you should be posting, what hashtags you should be using, what time you should be posting, and I wanna tell you exactly how to change your content to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If that sounds interesting to you, well, please, keep watching this video, because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement 
everything that I share with him in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm gonna guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need 1,000 subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use, again, to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers in the next 30 days, I will give you your money back, zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from YouTube. So please, go to the link in the description below. Sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more subscribers or you're going to get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.